Hey, welcome to the Scarabee channel once again. My name is Chris, and um, right now it's going to be quite di different from what I usually do. Um, I thought I'd switch up a little bit because I've been doing the same kind of video um, for quite a long time now, so I thought um, for the people who do subscribe and well, thank you ever so much. I thought I'd, I'd do something different. And I don't just listen to ska, I do listen to other types of music, so I thought then um, I'd give you my top 10 90s punk. This is my top 10 90s American punk kind of stuff. So, yeah, we will just wrap on with it as quick as possible when I go to work on it. Okay, number 10 is the by Lagwagon. Um, one, it's got an amazing cover on it. That's how amazing that cover is. That's just amazing. It's just a great cover. Um, two, it's like really early 90s, kind of. It really is like the early 90s. And it's really flashy. Like, I mean, really flashy. Um, like, really amazing. Um, And the songs aren't like really, really melodic. They're like there's there's some melodic songs like Angry Days, um, and then it's like but it's just awesome because comes the coffee on you, which is like one of my favorite songs, <laughs> like lag wagon songs of all time. It's just brilliant, like, um, and so there's some great songs about you. There's a song about um, the beer goggles or drunk driving. Is it, I think is it or stoking the neighbors? I don't know where but. Really good, it's really good. Um, and Lagwagon, their theme song, All Aboard the Lagwagon. Because he used to have like um, an old school bus that was called the Lagwagon, and that's where the name came from. Cool as hell. Um, yeah, this is a great album, and the, uh, the back of it is just awesome. I've been there on it, that record, very early, obviously. Um, number nine is a somewhat overlooked but very awesome strung out. With their album, their album Another Day in Paradise, which was 94 or 95. It's, it's meant to be really good. It's really, really good. There's 13 songs on you. If you like really fast, like um, SoCal Punk, like Bad Religion, but like they're really fast stuff, like the Lagwagon type stuff. These, like, at the time, were right right up there with their uh, lag wagon as far as this kind of music is concerned, but they were better, in my opinion, at the time. And they were really, really, really like, melodic and happy, but with like, really fucked up lyrics. They were really awesome stuff. Um, I loved them. Um, like, one of my favourite bands of the period. Definitely. There's so many good songs on, on this album. Um, In Ham's Way is on here as well, which is a really good song. And uh, Mad Mad World, and... Uh, Away alone in 14 days, it's amazing, it's really good. And then, um, was it Lost? It's really cool, and um, it's there's a lot of good songs in it, so it's awesome. That was number nine. Number eight would be Good Riddance with a comprehensive guide to modern rebellion. It's an awesome album. Really like this album. Um, it's got loads of songs on it. It's got like 17 songs on it, um, and they're all really good. They're like a hardcore band, and they do like melodic punk as well, kind of thing. So it's kind of like seven seconds. It's like seven seconds of like a melodic punk band, like something like this. They're awesome though. Mm. Favorite songs for me on this would be like um, a credit to his gender, which has got guest vocals by Cinderblock from Tilt. Um, it's really good. Um, is it um, Come Down Sin is really really good song. Like um, sometimes it's brilliant. Um, Steps is an awesome song as well. Um, and Token Idiot, there's some great songs in here. It's an awesome album for some great. <coughs> Number seven isn't an album, it's a compilation, but it's the best of the compilations because when you were younger, we all and did this, we all bought the um, Fat Record, Moonscar compilations, not Moonscar, the Fat Record compilations, and the Epitaph compilations, and the Honest Arms, Greatest Shits, and all them kind of things. So 
this is my favourite of all of them, and it's um, Angoram 3. This is the best one, in my, in my opinion, because it had 27 songs on it, and it was like they had the most songs out of any of them, and had brilliant bands in there, and it's really like, um, it's not just the same kind of, like, West Coast punk, it's just loads of, like, individual type stuff on here as well, and the Cramps are on here, and New Bomb Turks are on here, and Zeke, and, um, Voodoo Ghost goes on here, and uh, the Dwarves, and like uh, Burning Heads are on here as well. But yeah, and you got Red Arms as well, and you got like, but like Down by Laws on your Oscar, Temple Pole, and the kind of Lumber Skate, or whatever it's called. Um, it's got no effects, we threw Cassie in the fight now, we have some friends since they was it's fucking amazing. Yeah, great song, and we got Everybody's Girl on here as well. Like every song in here is like an anthem, it's amazing, it's like the Sunder album. I love that. Uh, number, was it number seven? I think it was. Uh, yeah, number seven. So this is number six. And this is Propagandi. Let's talk more rock. With the bow stamp on the guy's nuts. We don't even need to talk about this. Very political, but also like very like um, melodic punk kind of stuff. But really awesome. My favorite song in here is Refusing to Be a Man. I love refusing to be a man. I like. I can recite that. Like I recite your album, but like refusing to be a man, I sing along on top of my lungs. That song is amazing. And um, we thought Nation States were a bad idea, of course. And um, was it you know, Ankylus, the one that um, John K. Sampson sings? It's amazing. You know, the one we sing about how he's got his P.G. Woodhouse novels. It's like yes. Um, next one is Lagwagon again with Trashed. Another like early one, but it's got Know It All on it, which is an amazing song. And it's got the cover of Brown Eyed Girl, and it's got Stoke and the Neighbours on here as well. It's fucking amazing. And the Going South as well. So many good songs on it, like, right? it's really good. And it's amazing. It's got a cool cover, and it's just, yeah, trash, like, it's a cool album. And at number, um, number four is Tilt, which is, Amazing. Um, Tiller Kills. Uh, so the singer has a girl singer it's called Cinder Block, and she's awesome. And all the songs are awesome. My favourite song here is Unravel, Even Unravel. But also, I like um, Libel and Confines of Love. And I like Tiller Kills. And um, Lips, Lips, Tits, Hips, which is an awesome song. Um, number three will be Strung Out. This is my, this was for a long time one of my favourite albums of like ever. Um, Matchbook is my favourite punk song of all, well, one is in my top five favourite punk songs of all time. Matchbook is just an amazing song, and just, it's like really like, makes me think of certain times of my life and everything. But it's really good, and I like it. It's an awesome album. This is great though, this is, in my opinion, the last great, like truly great, um, SoCal record of the 90s. After this, everything kind of SoCal punk went, went down there. This was the last great album of that period. It was like 99 is right at the end of the decade. It's number two, Propagandi, How to Clean Everything, which is like 1993 this came out. It's amazing. And okay, it's got Scar Sex on it, but it's a Scar song. So, um, and they got um, Haley Zelassie, um, um, that's a Scar song, and it's a serious like, Scar song. It's, it's the one that's got Fuck Religion, and he's like, Fuck Religion, Fuck Religion. And also, like, what definitely like in my top five favorite songs of all time would be Anti Manifesto. And the Manifesto is just amazing. And um, I like who will help me break this bread and stick the fucking flag up your ass, you goddamn son of a bitch. And middle finger salute and all that. Awesome. Um, but my, this is my number one. And I'm going to do a video about this soon. I'm going to just do a video about it because I like it so much. You know, it's punk album. It's face to face. Uh, the album Don't Turn Away, which was recorded in 19, um, 1981, released in 1992, but then re-released on Fat Records at last in 94. People think it's from 94, but it's not. It's from 91, and it's amazing. And You've Done Nothing is an amazing song, I'm Not Afraid. Disconnected is like um, one of my favourite songs of all time. It just, the way it, it speaks to me, this whole album, the words, the lyrics, they speak to me. Like, it's just amazing. Um, Walk Away is amazing. Pastel is amazing. 
thousand times this is a great album I love it and that's about all I got time for uh, this has been my top 10 favorite soul car punk albums that's watching please rate comment and please subscribe it would be great if you do that so cheers <laughs>